in this episode, I'll be putting these in the dash. You see here, this is how I'm actually going to put the gauges in it. I'm going to use this little, uh, little stainless steel slip that I got from uh, Home Depot and I actually cut it was like a two foot by twelve feet or twelve two foot by twelve inches sheet of stainless steel, and I ended up cutting it at work and doing some uh, cutting the corners out and everything, making it look at least halfway decent. I'm gonna put it up here and put four self-tapping screws on each corner, and then uh, then I'll start adding or drilling out holes throughout this to put the two inch gauges inside of it. So uh, let's get going. That's where I want it. Sit back. A little bit. All right, as you see, now there is four screws in here. Um, so now I have to tape uh, across here and mark my center section for exactly where I want to drill to put the gauges in. And I will show you guys the drill bit that I'm actually going to be using. All right, this is the uh, the drill that I got. It's a Milwaukee, uh, pretty much an Arbor drill bit. And it is a two inch wide drill bit, which you want to go with because you want it to actually be nice and tight when you actually put the, uh, the gauges in. So uh, let me get this taken out and then I'll start drilling. All right, as you see here, I've already made my, my pilot hole for my first one. So. Okay. I think I need to get a better Yeah, I have to get a better Alright, so I couldn't find the uh, the drill that actually fit this because it's a little more fatter on the end and I don't have a, a one that actually squeezes down on it I just have one that just connects right into it which is not big enough so I'm going to use my impact Yay! Did in quite a bit. I'll have to beat that out a little bit to. Uh... <laughs> there's no, there's a big uh, space right here because of the. And they put an aftermarket radio in here, so there's a lot of space right there. So I guess I want to be a little more careful on my next couple gauges to uh, help keep it from bending like that. But anywho, that's the first hole. All right, get the first one put in now the oil gauge the oil kiss eye gauge it's gonna have to wind these wires and everything in there all right there's one in so far now you get I went ahead and drilled this one out already and then I'm gonna get that second gauge in and then I'll start drilling the third one I'm trying to get my spacing out right because I want to be able to put like two more so I want five gauges total um, probably another one would be like AFR, air fuel ratio, and probably the other one after that would probably be, um, let's see, we got coolant on one, got the old PSI on another, voltage on another, so I guess if I go turbocharged or supercharged, then I would go with uh, uh, vacuum or pretty much a, uh, a turbo PSI gauge. So let me get the second one. Well, there you guys go. It's not perfect, but... This car is not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be just a thrown, or, thrown together fun street and strip car. So I got all three of them in. Um, and I, I just have space probably for heck, almost three of them. Almost. But uh, they're not perfectly spaced out. No big deal to me. But uh, I think they actually look pretty good. And the black really matches the, the black from the dash itself. Which I like. And I don't really care for the ones that hang below the dash. Um, they look kind of ugly to me and kind of bulky. So since this already had a big hole cut out in the 
in the dash already and I'm really not going to run a radio in this anyways. I said, heck, why not? Might as well just put the gauges in where the, uh, the old radio used to be. So, anywho, um, as you see, that's pretty much how I put three gauges in. They're not obviously wired up because there is no motor in the car. So, I'm just going to have them just sitting here for right now. And, uh, anywho, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys next time.